teaching from home, working from home, connecting with family and friends from home. So how do you do that Zoom thing? I'm going to show you. Go into your browser and go to Zoom. You don't even have to sign up. You might, the first time you do it, it might tell you to install something at first. Since I've done numerous times, it's not asking me that now, but just follow instructions. You can either host a meeting or you can join a meeting. If you're joining a meeting, obviously you click here. And if you're hosting a meeting, you click here. Takes a few seconds to open. I'm just going to basically walk through the different toolbars that we have as a host of a Zoom conference. So to the left, we have the microphones, which you can click here to test the speaker and the microphone. Over here, we have start video, which I'm not doing now, but you can choose your video. In order to invite somebody, you invite, copy URL, put the URL into the window that you're going to be sharing with or you send us an email, you can invite through Messenger or WhatsApp. Managing participants. I don't have anybody participating with me now, but when I do, I can mute all. Current and new participants will be muted and if I leave this clicked, I can allow participants to unmute themselves. If you unclick it, that means that you control completely who is muted and who is not. And sometimes in the classroom situation, that's best. And with this, you can unmute everybody. And there's more down here. You can mute participants upon entry. You can allow them to unmute themselves from here, allow them to rename themselves play a chime for entry, or you can lock the meeting, which I'm actually not sure what it is. I've never done that. So that's managed participants. Sharing. When we share, we can share our screens. This is basically showing me all of the screens that are open on my computer now. I can also share whiteboard or iPhone and iPad, which I don't have. We have the chat option where we could type a message. You can type a message to somebody. When there's numerous people here, you have all of their names. You could type it privately to somebody, or you could type it to everybody. It's very useful if you want to, while you're doing the Zoom, if you want to share a URL, or if you want to, um, if somebody's having trouble with their audio and they can't hear you, you can type here and tell them uh, to check their audio. And then we have record, which is a very useful tool and I'm not going to go into it now but you can record all of your meetings and that's how you end the meeting click on here and that's all you need to know on the toolbar for the host in order to add participants I click here where it says invite copy URL you go to wherever it is that you're planning on sharing so usually I do it in WhatsApp but in this case it's with a person uh, named Joy, who I'm in touch with on Facebook. So I'm doing it through Messenger. That's the link. And I'm sending it to her now. And she will be joining me in a second. Again, my video is not viewable here because I'm using it in order to record this. But usually it would be. Hi. You. Can you hear me? Okay, so she, if she can't hear me at the beginning, I'm going to go into the chat. Okay, I can okay, hear, I can you. hear you. Okay, she can hear me. You want to learn how to Zoom, I heard. <laughs> so I really, really do. One way to join a Zoom meeting is to get a link in the WhatsApp. So here I got a link from Melissa, and I'm joining the WhatsApp. If you've downloaded it already, then it's just, this is all you have to do. Before this, if you don't have it on your computer, it walks you through the download process, which is easy. Just follow the instructions. 
you get in with your camera on, join with video, and when you get in, you see all of the other participants that are there. I'm going to make the big the screen bigger and walk you through the toolbar as participant because before we saw toolbar as leader. So we've got the microphone which we can play around with the controls and the video which we can mute, turn off or turn on. We've got the mute, we've got participants, we've got share which we need permission for. When you click on participants, you can see all the participants there and you have another button to mute you or raise or lower your hand. And that's how you can vote, can interact. You can either write to everyone or specifically to somebody privately. You can also download the file of chats, which I've never done. And you can also ask for permission to record. Only the, the person who opened the Zoom can record, or you can ask permission to do that. And that's it in a nutshell.